much going on with Paul Scott. I don't even really have time to talk about the recent going on in Icon City and um, Autobot City on Earth. They're just more politics. The Starscream made a giant cake or something. But I'm sure it'll come up to you guys eventually. But on to the PulseCon stuff. No need to talk about Bulkhead or Skids. I already told you guys about my opinion in the mini-sode when they were revealed early last time. But we did also get revealed to us the Unicron companion piece reformatting Galvatron, which looks pretty nice. I like the transparent look of the purple on him and everything. We also had the reveal of the Legacy drag strip confirming the Legacy Motormaster and Menasaur in all likelihood. And then we have Prime RC, who seems to have done a farewell better at remaining, well, not remaining, but retaining her silhouette from the cartoon. And then there's Deluxe Kickback, which I'm actually pretty excited for. I've been wanting more Deluxe size and stuff, not in Sustacons, but in Sustacons. God, I don't want to think about what that first one would be. And then finally, we have the reveal of the legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And I am very excited about this figure. He looks really solid. And in a lot of ways, if you really think about it, isn't Laser Prime the origin of the whole Night Optimus Prime thing we would see in the later Bay films? And also, more than anything, I'm excited to see this repainted into the Scourge from Robots in Disguise 2001. Because with how this looks, it'd be a crime for Hasbro to not do. And then on to one of our newer segments, I've got some Power Rangers news. There was the new Zord Ascension project announced, which is basically the Megazord equivalent to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. And the first figure is obviously a 1144 scale, same scale as high grade Gundams, if you guys want to compare them when you get your copies of this. Um, Dino Megazord from Mighty Morphing Power. And I've got to say, I'm really liking the look of this, and it looks like it will in fact be able to transform. So, for all I know, this might actually be something to rival the Soul of Chugokin Megazord. And then we had some Lightning Collection reveals. There's Zaito from Dino Fury, the Red Ranger. Uh, finally, Dino Charge Pink. So you Dino Charge fans should finally be able to complete your Dino Charge sets there. And I'm actually pretty excited for the Lunar Wolf Ranger from Wild Force. I really liked his design as a kid, and honestly, I'm probably a furry now because of it. Um, and then we have TJ from In Space and Parantis Head for another new monster to add to your collection. I actually really liked the pumpkin wrapper release before. I still have it on my shelves right now. And then we have some G.I. Joe coverage too. Only a little bit though because honestly most of it I don't care about. The only things I care about from the G.I. Joe coverage is the reveal of the Cobra Viper, aka the Cobra Pilots. I love pilots. Little known fact, I went through simulations to study for pilots, but for a pilot's license back when I was in beta, I did eventually get it, but I never really entered the Autobot military. And then two variants of the Cobra Bat, which I really like because honestly I just really like the design of military robots. I'm just going to finish this up with some brief photos here of my recent toy acquisitions. There's the Dino Fury Megazord from the Amazon exclusive 5-pack, and I really like the look of this toy, and love the fact that it's a lot more poseable than the Japanese DX release, and it's compatible with 5mm weapons, and you can play around with weaponizers and other transformer weapons with this guy. And then I also got the Transformers Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime. I do like this guy. He's solid and a good companion piece 
to the early, early Studio Series Pop Rod, but I have some minor gripes with it, and I'm planning on reviewing both of these toys at a later date, so uh, you can look forward to that to see what my thoughts on those are. Other than that, uh, that's actually all I have today. I hope you guys have a wonderful one. Stay beautiful. Hit out. I can't wait.